No, I'm an optimist in the sense of politics, where I feel like any improvement is a relevant improvement. I'm not going to lie to you, the glass is 75% empty, or even 85% empty, but even 25% empty would be a problem, and a hor horrific one if you think about it, but I feel like oftentimes when people speak about minarchy, even anarchists have to take into account minarchy is a better course than what we're going through now and might be an intermediary leap to anarchism. Might help that be more of a strong possibility rather than us developing a habit of organizing ourselves in these tremendous hierarchies. And that's something that I feel is too common. But there's a difference between being a minarchist and supporting a guy like, let's say, Ron Paul. Because I can tell you guys like Eagle Eye or Libertarian Realists, although I do feel sympathy for Eagle Eye and I have started liking Libertarian Realists a lot more. I can't help but realize that these guys aren't 100% minarchists. And they're not 100% minarchists because if they do or don't support a guy like Paul or these libertarian societies, they don't really have all the characteristics or traits needed to support a nice small minarchist society and I feel like the majority of times you gotta realize that minarchy deals with the minimalization of these hierarchical relationships and how do you keep them at a minimal when you can take them into account and know where the hierarchies are at and have an easier time dealing with them rather than this fascist system where a lot of the times we have trouble finding a hierarchy, just like Thomas Sowell's that top 1%, where he identifies that the 1%'s really a diluted statistic, and a lot of these guys aren't that rich corporate group. They might not even be that kind of guy, which leads you to believe that we don't live in a... We don't even just live in a regular state of society. We live in a fascist one. Not to the violence degree of Hitler or Mussolini in a domestic sense. Although, you might be able to see that soon if it wasn't for the fact that we still have guys with minor empathy. But we have the characteristics. We have those misleading hierarchies. And until we can identify what these hierarchies truly are, then we can't have a hope of their at least being minarchy. We want that anarchy, but we gotta start off with minarchy first. If we just want things to be a lot easier for us. We wanna be able to understand what these hierarchies are. We have to have it so that the system's so simple that even something as complex as a republic, we can identify what these minarchies, I mean these hierarchies are. We can identify. Okay, so that's a hierarchical capitalist. That's a hierarchical senate, republic, president, uh, monarch hierarchical monarch and without these little archons the structure would collapse and there's no networking because these pieces are so vital that they're the baseline 
to the whole organization. The organization is dependent upon its archon, therefore, without this archon, the organization explodes, there's no network. It's because of these guys, that's minarchy. It's not anarchy, but at least we can identify who are the key players, and we're not in this mode of confusion, not because we're being deluded, but because the structure is just too damn complex. And that's why I think a lot of conspiracy theories are so effective. Because a lot of times we do see these hidden archons or hierarchies that we didn't even know that they have this much power on their hands. So we're thinking, alright, what's the main archon? What's the main hierarchy? Which are the key players? We can't find any. We can't find any because it's a fascist system. It's simply too damn complex. And the only progression up would be at some point totalitarianism and is that a problem yes so how do I conclude this is minarchy a good progression yes are most so-called minarchists or people in the moderate side truly in the moderate side no because they're not looking for this oftentimes they're looking for a state level of power but they're not focusing on the main point which is being able to identify who are the key players archons and having the means of picking them out not finding hidden archons and this infinium which has become the baseline for our current fascism Am I speaking a little too fast? Because that's something that is a negative social consequence. I don't really care, though. This has been Mr. Wonka7. You can catch me every Tuesday on Blog TV at 8 p.m. I'll be doing them from 8 p.m. to 9. On Wednesdays, I'll be doing them from 5.30 to 6.30. And... Uh, It'll follow this pattern. So, S.M. Dick.